Hello my fellow fasting foodie friend, it's Jackie and today I am bringing you more continuous glucose monitor test results and I'm so excited. I have had so many suggestions, I've done lots of different tests, I haven't shared all of them because compiling data just basically takes time. And as I was doing tests, I decided I wanted to learn more. So I did read Glucose Revolution and it has been very eye-opening and very interesting to read. So that has been part of my new testing procedures. If you are new here, I'm gonna back up just a second. Nutrisense sent me Continuous Glucose Monitor for free. I am very lucky to receive that. It is not something that they paid me to wear, but they just offered it to me if I wanted to. And then I do have an affiliate link below if you want to take a survey and learn more about NutriSense and how it could help you. But I'm not paid to make this content. They didn't say you have this many deliverables, nothing. It was just, we'll send this to you for free and if you like it, you can share it. And I have really loved it. Another suggestion you guys wanted me to try was how Element affected me while I was fasting. And even more specifically, you were interested in how the flavored elements affected my blood glucose while I was fasting. And these are the results I'm going to share with you. Before I share with you the results, I do want to let you know this video is sponsored by Element. I talk a lot about Element on my page because I drink one almost every single day. I prefer to have the flavored ones in my eating window, but I do also like to have the raw unflavored in my fasting window. It just really depends on my day and when I choose to drink it. Element has a science-backed ratio of 1,000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium. They don't have any junk, sugar, fillers, nothing. It tastes delicious without the BS. Element is formulated to give everyone their electrolyte needs, everyone from people like me, a stay-at-home mom and content creator, all the way up to Olympic athletes. I absolutely love including electrolyte as part of my fasting regimen because I used to suffer from sore legs, especially when I went into longer fast, 48 hours and beyond. And since I started taking Element on a near daily basis, I no longer suffer from sore legs. It helps me to feel really good, especially while I'm fasting. And for that, I'm really grateful. And that's why I love to share them with you guys. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serve packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or to share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash fastingfoodie. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash fastingfoodie. Because Element is really tasty on its own, a lot of salt, no sugar, a lot of people wonder what is the impact if I have the flavored ones in my fasting window. And I'm going to share with you my results because a lot of you asked me to test it and I'm here to serve. So I did some various tests. First of all, I tested Element in plain sparkling bubbly water. So I had the flavor of the element, but plain water. Cheers. Additionally, I tested my favorite combination, which is flavored water with a flavored element. My absolute favorite way to mix element is with a flavored sparkling water or plain sparkling water, but the flavor, I just like flavors. You know what I'm saying? So my glucose started at 82. Let's see what it is two hours from now. The crazy thing is every single time that I took Element, especially with the flavors, I saw actually a drop in my blood glucose levels. A drop in your blood glucose level can actually be a sign that insulin was re released and releasing insulin can signify that you broke your fast. And finally, I tested unflavored in my fasting window. So it has been two hours since I drank my raw unflavored element and my glucose levels were exactly the same, two hours apart. So it didn't dip like it does with the flavors of the element. So my thought when it comes to that is that I probably didn't have any sort of insulin release in response to the artificial sweeteners in element which is why my glucose level didn't go down at all. I could be wrong about that, but the flavored ones, my glucose level actually dropped a little bit, even though it was pretty darn steady and still rated a 10 out of 10, but it was exactly the same with the raw unflavored. However, there were no spikes and having a stable blood glucose level is actually really good for maintaining hunger, for helping with weight loss, to help your mood, to help a lot of things. Actually, in chapter seven of this book, which um, again, this author knows nothing about me. I just read it from curiosity and I'm constantly liking to read and learn new things. Chapter seven is about what blood glucose spikes can do for our health. And let me tell you, it's not good. Everything from depressive episodes to acne can be attributed to blood glucose spikes and falls. So having stable blood glucose is good. And in that respect, having element, even flavored, 
with flavored water during your fast. It's rated a 10 out of 10. When you test things with NutriSense and you can log your food, your drinks, whatever you consume, it'll give you a score based on how much your blood glucose changes, how stable it is, how long it takes you to recover. Every single test I've done with Element has been a 10 out of 10, so that's really good. However, even if blood glucose wise it is good, its signal is good. I do still feel like when I have flavors in my fast, I feel like I am expecting to eat and that could be more of a mental shift. I think that's really good to know. If there are times where I'm in a pinch and I want to have it, I don't feel like I'm going to ruin anything. However, I do really still feel like there is merit to clean fasting to not having flavors. I still choose to have the unflavored in my fasting windows and to have the flavored in my eating windows. And mainly that's because I feel really good when I do the clean fast. I do think it makes it easier to continue fasting longer when I don't have flavors. Does that mean that I never um, make an exception here or there when it sounds good? Absolutely not. I am all about flexibility, but my preference really is the clean fast and I do think it makes a big difference. So it's good to know that I have really good reactions with my blood glucose. It is also good to know that I feel better when I do clean fasting. So you have to consider everything. All of this is individualized to me, Jackie, 35 year old female in Michigan, and my blood glucose reactions might be different than yours. So that's something to take into consideration. But when you think of blood glucose and element, it's a 10 out of 10. And I had really great reactions even while I was fasting to both the flavored and the unflavored. If you're curious about the blood glucose and the NutriSense Continuous Glucose Monitor, you can check out this playlist right here where I share with you all the results and how different foods or different patterns of eating impact my blood glucose and might give you a hint on how it could impact yours as well. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.